welcome to Quasi's Bell Tower with your host, Quasi. And today we're going to make cauldrons. Yes, cauldrons that you use to make boiling oil. And the boiling oil you used to pour down a murder hole and kill your victims. So let's get to it. Okay, guys, when I first started crafting, one of the first things I made and put on uh, DM Scotty's page uh, was this little cauldron I made. Uh, we're going to make this basically almost about the same, but we're going to make uh, some improvements to it. Now, and I know at one time I put a video up there. Hopefully, if I can find it, I'll put it up just so you guys can see it. But basically, this is your cauldron, and that's all the stuff dumping out. So what we're going to do is we're going to remake this all over again. First thing you're going to need is a popsicle stick. And I already went and pre-measured this all out. Let me zoom in for you guys so you can see this a little bit better. Um, the popsicle stick is four and a half inches long. So I just took from the end of the round part to an uh, inch and a half and drew a line. And then flipped it over, did the same thing, and drew a line at one and a half inches. So actually you have one and a half inches, one and a half inches, one and a half inches, there's your four and a half inches right there. So you're gonna need those three pieces. And we are also going to use um, what they call an egg corn capsule or a vending machine capsule um, these are the one inch ones, not the two inch ones. These are the smaller ones. I know you can't find them all the time at uh, gas stations or places like Walmart where they sell all this, these little, you know, piece of garbage toys to kids for 50 cents. But uh, if you want, you can go on Amazon. I'll have a link posted down and show you um, where you can get them. I couldn't find where you could get just like a couple. It was like 50 or more. Uh, I think the cheapest I found was seven bucks, but that's that. Um, also, next you're going to need uh, a gear, and this gear is from uh, Jim Holtz. Um, you can get these at Hobby Lobby. I think you can get them at Michaels. Um, basically, um, out of all the gears, there's a whole bunch of different ones, a whole bunch of different sizes and everything else, but we're going to pick this one here. And what I did is I already went through and I did one already. And um, you're also going to need, of course, guys, a 1 8 uh, dowel. Or you can even use a uh, barbecue skewer. I think they're about the same size anyways. Um, but I'm going to use the 1 8 dowel because it's a little more rounder. So what I did is I just took a 1 8 drill bit and where the hole is on this originally... I just made it a little bit bigger. You can drill it out by hand. It is a soft metal and you can use a drill bit um, and do it that way if you don't have a, uh, a drill, an electric drill or whatever else. Uh, but I have one, uh, put it on my uh, vise and just tightened it down and then drilled a hole through it very slowly. So that's that. So we will go and I will show you right now. We're going to take this capsule here, and what we're going to do is we're going to sand it down so the paint holds on to a little bit better. So you just take your sandpaper, and you're just going to sand this down. I'm just using a 220 grit sandpaper. You ain't got to make it like 100% all sand it down. Just get it good enough so the paint will stick. Um, the original one I did, the paint did stick without me sanding it down, but I could see where um, it was starting to come off in certain spots. So we'll just sand this one up, and that will take care of that. So make sure you do the inside also. So what we're going to do now is we are going to take our 1 8 drill bit, and I'm going to do this one by hand. But I'm just going to go just below the lip. And I'm just going to drill this through by hand. I drilled that through. Okay, now we'll do the other one. And we'll try to center it the best we can. There we go. Just got to be a little patient with it. Okay, so now we got that all the way drilled through. 
Now what I'll do is I'll take my knife, my blade knife here, and I'll just scrape off the parts that the drill popped out on us. Or at least try to the best I can. Without cutting myself, of course. Okay, and now I'm just going to take a 1 8 drill or uh, 1 8 Dremel here and just make sure it's going to fit and it's going to work. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to take my 1 8 dowel and I'm going to measure it out at 3 4 inches and then another 3 4 inches. And then we will cut these out and these will be the ends that we'll be putting in the holes that we just drilled into the capsule cap. And now I will take the popsicle stick and cut them into the three parts that we're going to need. Now I got my three pieces cut out of the popsicle stick. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the center where the dowel is going to go. The measurement for that is going to be an inch and three eighths just uh, one eighth short of an inch and a half hopefully you guys can see that and see where I put the little dot so an inch and three eighths okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take a popsicles another popsicle stick and we are going to make a measurement at an inch and a half and one at three inches and then we will cut those and those will be for the bottom kind of the bottom base to help uh, support the weight of this guys so what I'm gonna do now is I'm taking one of the uh, dowels that we're using for the handle the one on the left hand side facing you that you'd be looking at and uh, we are going to try to drill a hole through the 1 8 drill bit our 1 8 dowel with a 5 64th drill bit now if you go too high up towards the edge and you drill it through it will break this um, it might break this again when I try to drill this at a certain point so I don't know maybe a good uh, quarter inch down on it or so or a little less than that and just try to drill a hole through it ah, and not stab yourself because you don't want to go to the hospital and get stitches. I've already had to do that once or twice doing crafts. Just drill this through this as carefully as you can. If you want and you have a vise, you could try holding the wood on a vise and then just drilling this through. But I'm going to do it by hand. Um, am I worried about poking myself in the hand? Um, nah, not really. I actually kind of feel it start to break through the wood. See, just, just a little bit. You see, it can start doing that. So that, as long as you're not pushing on it too hard, it shouldn't come through. Now, if you do that at a good depth away from the edge, you should be able to drill a hole through it without uh, cracking the wood. Okay guys, now that we have the little um, hole in that drilled out and the dial, the 1 8th dial, we're going to do the handle for the for it now. So we're going to use a toothpick and you're just going to clip off the edges and then we are going to measure this an inch and clip that. And that will go right in there. And that will be the handle to this. Okay, so now that we have the handle in here, you can go ahead and uh, super glue the handle into here. Don't super glue here and here quite yet. Uh, we'll wait until we finish assembling everything. So we will take this part here. And these two here, and you'll basically super glue or use hot glue and glue them together like that. Okay, guys, after you have these two pieces here with your 
uh, where you drilled your holes for the dowels. Um, hopefully your project here is uh, pretty straight. Um, I might have to re-glue mine honestly on one end because it looks like I just kind of took the glue apart. But now you got the other two ends and this is going to help balance it all. Um, what I did is I just drew a little line, try to eyeball it the center be best there. Same thing here with the popsicle sticks. Um, they're what, an uh, inch and a half? So at three-fourths of an inch you just draw a line there and you just kind of match those lines up together. Glue that together there. Do the same thing on the other side and glue that. Okay, now guys, you guys, if you want, you can go ahead and take all your parts and paint them up. Um, keep the gear, the color it is, unless you want to paint it up. That's your call. That's your choice. Um, so go ahead and paint them up, and then we come back. We'll put it all together, glue it together, and it will be done, hopefully. Okay, now before we assemble this, I want to let you know that I did have to make this bigger, the holes on this bigger, and the holes on the gear a little bit bigger. They were a 964th drill bit I used on them. Um, I had to do that so the pieces would fit and would uh, move around without, you know, back and forth without there being a problem. So I had to go and do that. So uh, what we'll do is... Uh, grab our super glue here and I'll uh, assemble this and then I'll be right back with you guys and now our cauldron of death is complete so there you go guys an easy to make cauldron now if you look this is the original one I made like I don't know two to four years ago and here's the new one now with the new one I gave it a little more space underneath it so you can build a fire underneath it or whatever else so you can heat up that oil or whatever else you got in there and pour it all over your enemies so for now guys please subscribe comment Make sure you click on that little bell icon so you get notifications. And like always, ring that like button like a hunchback. Until next time.